Welcome to Sidza.com. Carboxylic acids react, you know, with the reagents like the PCl3, uh, phosphorus uh, trichloride, and the thionyl chloride. You know, just like in alcohols, we know that in alcohols you can re replace an OH group with, uh, you know, any of these uh, reagents by the chlorine, right? So chlorine can replace this OH, and you get an alkyl halide. So you get RCl here if you react the alcohol with PCl5, PCl3 or thionyl chloride. Similarly, you know, carboxylic acids, here also you can replace the OH from the carboxylic acids if you react with the PCl3, phosphorus, you know, trichloride, pentachloride or the thionyl chloride. So this is a, a substitution reaction, right? Overall the reaction is a substitution reaction. You are replacing here the OH by the chlorine by the Cl minus. So this is a nucleophilic substitution reaction. But how does this reaction take place? You know, this is this reaction is a little bit different than, you know, uh, the mechanism is here different than, you know, uh, we find the reaction of alcohols with the PCl5 or the PCl3. There we simply have a replacement of this, you know, hydroxide by the chlorine from the PCl5 or the PCl3. But in this case, here the little bit mechanism is different, right? The mechanism here is different. So in all these cases, you know, if you take the carboxylic acid, we react with the PCl5, you will get the RCOCl. Hydroxide being replaced by the chlorine. That is the overall reaction, right? And the only difference here is, you know, the PCl3 molecule reacts with three, you know, carboxylic acid molecules, right? So in the PCl3, all the three chlorine atoms can be replaced by the OH, okay? You know, uh, one molecule of PCl3 reacts with the three molecules of carboxylic acid. Here, the one molecule of PCl5 reacts with the three you know, it reacts with one molecule of carboxylic acid. All right, that is the only difference, you know, in the pentachlor, you know, chlorides and the uh, trichlorides. Now let's, you know, go to the mechanism, you know, how does this reaction take place? How you can replace the OH, uh, you know, from the carboxylic acids by the PCl5 or the thionyl chloride. Now look at the mechanism part, you know, how does this reaction take place when you react the carboxylic acid with the PCl5 molecule? So basically what happens here, you know, this, uh, a carbonyl group actually it forms a bond with the phosphorus. You know this uh, PCl5 molecule, one of the chlorine is lost from here, and it, you know this pi bond shifts towards the phosphorus. It forms a bond with the phosphorus. Cl comes off here, right? And then you know this hydrogen uh, is also lost, and it forms a, a double bond here. So H positive from here, right? This is how H positive from here, and the Cl minus here from. So there is loss of hydrochloric acid. And this, you know, carbon form with a double bond. So what you get now, you get a carbon double bond oxygen over here. And this oxygen form is a bond with the phosphorus. So you get a PCl4 molecule now. So first there is, you know, the loss of hydro, you know, HCl. The PCl5 carboxylic acid, they react together and there's loss of HCl molecule and you get this product. Now in the second step, the second step, you know, the same HCl molecule adds across this carbonyl group, right? The same HCl molecule, you know, and here this chlorine goes into the carbon, hydrogen goes to the oxygen. So what do you get? You get RC. Let me write down this molecule like this. PO, you know, phosphorus is here. And now uh, you have uh, four chlorine atoms. Let me write down this, you know, the PCL3 like this and one chlorine, I'll write it from this side. Okay, now once there is addition on the carbonyl group, so you get an OH here, right? And you also have a chlorine here. Okay, CL, CL attached to the uh, carbon. So now this is addition of uh, HCl on this carbonyl group and now in this case what will happen? After the addition of this HCl molecule what happens there? See now in this case again one of the chlorine comes off from here okay and you know this hydrogen is lost as H positive and it forms a double bond. This electron pair shifts with oxygen actually it forms a double bond with the phosphorus right? So phosphorus forms a double bond, you know, carbon oxygen bond breaks, electron pair shifts to the phosphorus, Cl comes off, and this electron pair goes down. So then what do you get? You get R, C double bond, O, and you have a Cl here. And what else you have? You know, you have a, this hydrogen and the chlorine, right? These two, they form HCl, right? There is an HCl molecule also. And you, what, do you, what else you get? You get the phosphorus attached with three chlorine and one oxygen atom. So you get a phosphorus double bond O and the three chlorine atoms. So this is the product that you get. So if you look at this reaction, the mechanism, you know, the overall mechanism is that, you know, from the carboxylic acids, you get the acid chloride, right? So the overall mechanism is that you are replacing this OH group by the chlorine, right? 
by the chlorine and the chlorine comes off from the PCL5 molecule, right? So one of the chlorine molecule here, replacing the OH and you get RCOCl. This is the net reaction and this is the mechanism of this reaction when PCL5 molecule reacts with the carboxylic acids. Now let's just discuss the mechanism. How does the carboxylic acid react with the thionyl chloride with the SOCl2, right? Now when carboxylic acid reacts with the thionyl chloride SOCl2 here, so here the carbonyl group actually, you know, forms the bond with the sulfur this electron pair shifts in this direction okay and the electrons on the oxygen they form a double bond here so you get an intermediate like this carbon oxygen single bond and this oxygen is attached with the sulfur okay and it has a O negative now and there are two chlorine atoms also attached to the sulfur and from the other side we have a oxygen right attached to the carbon but due to this you know shift of electrons from the oxygen to the carbon so you have a double bond here and it's attached with the hydrogen and this oxygen will be having a positive charge over here all right this is the first step here okay then what happens one of the chlorine comes off from this one and this electron pair shifts form with the double bond so what do you get you get the rc you know oxygen and the sulfur double bond oxygen and one chlorine atom over here you also have a double bond oxygen attached with the hydrogen and a positive charge on it now since there is loss of you know for here is the loss of cl minus okay chlorine is lost from here and in next step the same cl negative actually attacks on the carbonyl group right okay you know this same uh, in the next step what happens the cl minus cl negative attacks on this carbon okay and then what happens this electron pair shifts to the oxygen it goes back to the oxygen right it goes back to the oxygen and what do you get you get an intermediate like this you know carbon oxygen sulfur double bond O chlorine here and now you have a chlorine attached to the carbon and you have a OH also attached to this one okay all right so now after this in you know what happens next step is that here in this case you know the carbon oxygen bond breaks here okay right you know this bond breaks okay why because you have here a lone pair of electrons and this bond shifts in the direction chlorine is lost as cl minus here all right and this electron pair it goes down okay it goes down form with a double bond and now what you will get you get basically a sulfur dioxide molecule right this is a sulfur dioxide molecule so you have uh, now a sulfur dioxide molecule is lost here. You also have, uh, you know, a Cl9 negative also, right? Cl minus, so two groups are lost, Cl minus and the sulfur dioxide. And what else you get? You get an intermediate like this, carbon. Now it will be double bonded with oxygen, right? It will be like this, oxygen, and a positive charge on the oxygen, and it's also attached with the carbon. And now the next step is, the next step, the Cl minus, attacks on this proton right and it takes a proton so hydrogen is lost as H positive so there is now HCl and what else you get you get the RC double bond O Cl and this is the overall you know reaction if you look at the starting compound and the final product this is the carboxylic acid the starting compound and this is our final product so what do you see the change the change is that you have replaced the OH by the chlorine right so one of the chlorine you know is replacing the OH from the carboxylic acid and you got the acid derivative right you got the you know RCOCl here okay all right so hope you got the concept thanks for watching the video bye for now